uh, into Parliament. Uh, Parliament recommend today as as, uh, as usual. Uh, we hear the opposition uh, might mount a vote of no confidence. It is totally uh, a provision that is provided in law and entitled to pass a vote of no confidence motion. We just hope this time they do it and it's technically compliant and legally compliant as prescribed by standing orders and, and by, by uh, section one for five provisions of our constitution. But nonetheless, uh, members of government side, all coalition partners uh, who have been partners uh, with Pangu Party since 2019 uh, remain put, our partnership remains, our number remains above the majority lines. Majority is 56. We've had a majority of 93 members of parliament since the last defect uh, in, in, in February. Uh, we still maintain at town uh, this morning, at, at town living Lolowata, uh, 74 living Lolowata uh, at the ferries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just want to say a, a word of appreciation to all leaders uh, who are here at their own uh, choice. There was no coercion or influence the coalition we've put together in 2019 and the coalitions that have embraced uh, our shared leadership and aspirations in 2022 are back on deck. I want to make special mention to uh, uh, one of our strong uh, leaders of our country, for, uh, especially the Honorable uh, Bella Nama, PNG Party, that has come back. Uh, and uh, some who migrated from the various assembly of camps that has uh, taken place in the last uh, one or two weeks, uh, all because uh, there's certainty at stake, uh, and certainty of a nation at stake, stability of a nation at stake, uh, today, in a world of no confidence play, you have the alternate proposed uh, nominee and you have the incumbent. And so the incumbent is clear, the incumbency of this government's mandate has been strong thus far. And the alternate has been proposed. We respect the alternate view on the table. It is entirely up to all members of parliament to decide on what they feel is uh, a team that could take this country on from where we are today. Many issues at stake, lawlessness, economy, our, our census coming up, our LNG elections coming up, our Bougainville uh, issues remain unfinished uh, and complete. Uh, many, many issues at, on, on the table at stake for our country. Uh, we're using this time in retreat, uh, funded by all our political party uh, uh, that is a coalition to this government. We're taking this time as a retreat to relook at how we fared in the last 18 months and what we must do and do better for our country going forward. Uh, the leaders who left the government have their own reasons. Uh, some of them are good reasons for our country. We certainly embrace those reasons why they have left. And together, a coalition of uh, 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 coalition government remains strong. Pangu, we today on strength 45. URP today on strength 10. Uh, SDB today on strength 6. Uh, People's First Party on strength 3. Uh, People's uh, Party on strength Three, National Alliance Party on strength. Two, People's Movement for Change on strength. One out of one, uh, PNG uh, Party that has rejoined us. One out of one, uh, we have uh, the Honorable Dr. Alan Maraj, one of the seniors of our country. In the contest between the alternate proposed and the incumbent, it choose to remain with the incumbent, knowing that at this time, maturity, progressive, stability are key essentials of our national progress. Uh, the leader of the Melanesian Liberal Front, uh, the Honorable Dr. Alan Marat, is not physically in camp, but has given word that he will be in his chair when he last sat on the government race. We also have uh, the leader of the Melanesian Alliance Party, the Honorable Joseph Yopi Yopi. He said he will not get caught up in the, the tussles of politics, but remain static and put in his own government ranks today. So uh, I just want to announce to our country, let members of parliament uh, deploy the contest of government uh, as it is expressed by law. Our, our citizens should go about doing their business. I want to pay, pay a special uh, word to investors in our country. Uh, have confidence that Papua New Guinea does live on. There were three successful <coughs> words of no confidence in the past, and there were four other successful transactions of government mid term that happened in our country's history. Uh, we have known to uh, change government, form government on the floor of parliament, but democracy has always prevailed. And so all investors are tuning in from PNG and far, far and wide. Don't lose confidence in Papua New Guinea. Our rule of law always prevails. The independence of judiciary always is there. 
uh, parliamentary process plays out and governments always establish to the rule of law as prescribed by our national constitution. So my appeal to our investors, don't get caught up in the hogwash. Today you see strong leadership at, at 74 plus going out into parliament with an expression of interest by some, some mature leaders on the other side also. That they are rethinking their placement in the floor of parliament. Uh, I just want to say the country will continue on and we will continue to address many of the challenges that face us. I want to also appeal to our public <coughs> servants, our members of our defense force, our members of our PNG lawyer consumably, don't repeat the nonsense that took place on January 10th. Uh, remain loyal to